What's up, amigos? It's Chris Lewitt, back with another Prodigy Maker Minute. As you may know, I'm the former number one for Cornell University, pro circuit player, elite junior development coach, and author of The Secrets of Spanish Tennis and the Tennis Technique Bible. In this Prodigy Maker Minute, I just want to talk about not juniors, actually, but seniors, master's levels players. I have many seniors coming to train with me now uh, who are trying to improve their national ranking or their international ranking. And I enjoy that kind of work, even though I'm known for working with elite, you know, top national ranked juniors. But in my opinion, the most important thing that seniors or one of the most important thing that seniors have to do is maintain their racket speed. And so racket speed maintenance is something that's critical and often neglected in terms of senior tennis. Don't see that being talked about very much. If you go on YouTube or if you see uh, what what coaches are working on with seniors, I often don't see a racket speed development or racket speed maintenance being worked on. That's something that I learned in Spain, particularly with the system of Luis Bruguera. Luis Bruguera was a mentor of mine and still is a mentor of mine, has been uh, helping me learn the Spanish system for many, many years since I've been traveling there. And in the Bruguera method, they have a wonderful system of uh, these drills, typically hand-fed drills that are, uh, oh, they basically overload the musculature to try to develop racket speed and acceleration. And they're a series of rapid fire, rapid fed drills. And there's different progressions in the system that come from the genius mind of Luis Bruguera that I think are often used to develop the weapons and the racket speed of juniors. But in my mind, working with adults now, as well as juniors, I think the drills are tremendously beneficial and applicable to adult senior tennis, competitive adults who are uh, trying to play masters, trying to uh, basically stay young and hit the ball hard as long as they can so that they can compete maybe in open divisions or in younger, uh, with younger players. You know, that's one of the, that's like the holy grail for seniors is to be able to uh, basically stay young and compete as long as they can with with younger, hard hitting uh, players, uh, whether that's in open tournaments and then also to dominate their age divisions. So senior play, seniors players or masters players, they want to dominate whether they're in the 45s or the 60s, they want to dominate their age division, but still be able to compete with younger athletes. So for me, one of one of the big keys is comes comes right out of the Spanish playbook, and that is racket speed maintenance, particularly with the exercises and the drills from Luis Bruguera and the Bruguera system. So if you're not familiar with those exercises, you can check out my book, The Secrets of Spanish Tennis, which is the seminal work on the Spanish system of training. I have lots of videos on the Spanish racket speed building and acceler the acceleration exercises from Spain, but there are many brilliant coaches from Spain, but this particular system, this particular method from Luis Bruguera, who is the father of Sergi Bruguera, two-time French Open champion, that particular system hones the racket speed. And, and for adults, maybe you can't improve your racket speed that much but you can try to maintain it for as many years as you can so if you're an adult if you're a senior player if you're in a master's category and you're trying to hang in there with the young guns you definitely need to train the spanish way it will help you maintain your racket speed maintain your weapons maintain the pace that you're hitting the ball and maintain your rpm as you get older very important uh Guys, if you like this Prodigy Maker Minute, check out the Prodigy Maker Show. I'm known for coaching juniors, but I also love working with adults. And check out our YouTube channel. It's youtube.com forward slash Chris Lewitt. Thanks, guys. See you on the next program.